Well, yields on Portuguese government bonds have gone above 5% for the first time since summer 2008. This is all part of this contagion idea spreading from the Greek fallout. We are joined right now from London. We bring you FT, Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial, at the financial Times' flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven, Bradford joining us now from London. So, Richard, Portugal, is it very similar to Greece? Is that what the worries are? It seems that way, doesn't it? I mean, investors are asking for a much greater yield difference this week compared to last week. Um, the yield difference, the premium that they're asking over Greek bonds has gone from 86 to 148 basis points. Why? Well, it's another small country within the eurozone that cannot devalue to become more competitive. It's got high debt and it's also got a very, very high budget deficit. Uh, Richard, what are the differences, though, because they do exist? They certainly do. I mean, Greek, Greek, Greek uh, budget deficit is at 13.6 and probably rising, according to Eurostat. Portugal still at three times the eurozone limit at 9.4 percent, so not as bad, but hardly great. And then government debt in Portugal is 77 percent and rising probably to about 94 percent by 2014. Now, that, that's hardly significant alongside Greece's 120 percent of output. So there are differences, but that's not to say that Portugal is doing a great job of its economy at the moment. Richard, we thank you so much. Richard Stoven Bradford joining us there from London from the FT. We'll